guys and welcome to week 12 I think we're on. I, I'm even actually losing count of what week we're on. I think we're on week 12 of our build. So we have actually been away for the last couple of days and we haven't been back to the house to see what it looks like. There's been two days of building where we haven't GoPro'd and we haven't obviously done some little build updates. So when we go up to the house now, I just think there's going to be a massive, massive difference. Dom the builder has sent us a couple of pictures while we've been away and we've been like, oh my gosh, it's like gone up so much. So obviously we are having a new roof put on and the roof is timber framed. So I think once they start building the timber frame, it goes up really quickly. Um, so I'm quite excited to go up there and have a look at it. I'm obviously gonna take you guys with us and I'll show you the progress that has happened the last two days and then I will obviously be filming for the next couple of days. This week what's going on is Dom has asked me to put down where I want all our light fittings our plug sockets and things like that so he wants me to just mark on our plans where we think we want things and then the electrician's coming up next week so I can talk through where we want some lighting and how much lighting we should need. This has actually been quite a big thing for me. I think I have way overlit the house. So I want to talk to the electrician because obviously every single light that we add in costs money. So I'd like to just get it right and not have too many lights, but also not have too few lights too. So let's head up there now and I will show you what they've done. Oh my goodness. We have a house. I mean, we could basically move into this. It is so windy today. I feel really bad for the neighbors because I just want you to have a little listen to this. Oh my God, the wind is just flapping the sheeting outside of the scaffolding. It's flapping it so much. Since being away for two days, look at the progress that has been made. We've got all of the Velux window openings done now there's two there which is jamie's bedroom this is the landing one this is our main bathroom one and this is our ensuite bathroom velux window opening and then look we've also got our dormers all built in these are such good sizes the windows are really really nice and low as well which means we're gonna have i mean you can't see that view but means we're gonna have like maximum view maximum viewing from the windows. This is Rory's window. As you can see, it's just such a nice size. So obviously, as you guys can see, this is a bungalow. And I think when initially you could see the flooring all laid, it looked huge. But because it's a bungalow and we are in the roof, we did originally want to make it into a house, but you just couldn't get planning on this road. And actually, I really love a bungalow and I think it's so much more quirky and has so much more character. But the downside of a bungalow is the fact that you're in the roof, for your bedrooms and so you have loads of sloping roofs which means you lose so much head height and it a lot of it becomes like unusable space so for example this is going to be Jamie's bedroom here so his bedroom is going to be 15 meters squared it's a really really nice big size bedroom however on that side of the bedroom you can't really use that bit of flooring because it's not enough head height but we can use it for things like um, wardrobes and bits and bobs like that. So you just gotta be a little bit more clever. Likewise, over here in our main bathroom, this is gonna be the family bathroom and the biggest problem we've come up with, the biggest issue is the fact that I would love to have a bath and a shower or a shower over the bath in here, but head height wise, it's just gonna be tricky. Say we have our bath along, along the back wall there, then by the time you put the shower here to go over the bath, it, you haven't got much head height to go round to get into the bath to have your shower. So I think what we have decided to do is to just have in this bathroom a really nice big freestanding bath at the end here. The toilet is going to go on this, this back wall here because that is a little doorway into the storage that I was telling you about last week. And then we're going to have a nice big vanity unit here. Dom said tomorrow he's going to be using all of these blocks to build up the block work at the sides. So there has been such huge progress since last week, which is amazing. Um, and because we haven't been here for two days, it feels like they've done even more, which is very exciting. So yeah, I'll be back again tomorrow to show you what's going on then. Right, 
we've come back up to the house to sort the garden out again. It's been two weeks since we last mowed this. Look how long it's got. I mean, that is really, really long. So Chris is actually having to go around with the strimmer to take off a little bit of it because he doesn't think the lawnmower will get through it. It's a bit long, it might ruin it. So he's doing that and then, oh my gosh, my hay fever's starting to kick in again now I'm back up here. Um, I bought some of this like gardening wire because I've got a really, really pretty plant over here. Let me show you. Look at this really pretty plant. And it's a, like a climbing plant. So as you can see, it's all drooping down. So what I'm gonna do is put some wire across here on the black fence and then I'm going to let this plant climb and look how nice it looks against the black. It just looks so pretty. So we painted our fences black probably in February time, I think. And I just think they're like green and the plants look so, so nice against it. So I'm gonna do that while Chris mows the lawn and whilst the builders are up there building a bit more of our house. <laughs> You can see all the lines that I've like the kind of what is this gardening wire? I'm not sure. Flower wire that I've put up. They're very wonky. I don't think Dom would want me working on his site, to be honest with you. But I feel much happier now. I've kind of like untangled a lot of these because they were clumping and like hanging on to each other for support. And then I've tried to kind of wrap them around the wire a little bit. So what I want is I want some to go up the middle, some to spread out on the side and some to spread out on that side. So eventually it'll like overtake on the fencing so that it kind of breaks the fencing up a little bit. I think that'll look really nice. And we've got the nice salix there. That, that I need to take the dead heads off. But yeah, I think it'll look really nice. Obviously all of these roses that are on here won't be staying here once the build is done. They'll go on our patio. Um, so then you'll be able to notice this flower so much more. I think it looks really, really pretty. I mean, it's probably not even worth me have done that because by the time I move back in, it'll probably be dead. <laughs> but I'm happy with my little effort. I feel like I've done something constructive today in the house. So Chris has finished mowing the lawn, but he has only taken off, like it's still quite long. He's only taken off like the top layer. And he said, now this needs to dry overnight and he's gonna come back tomorrow and take it a little bit shorter. Chris is like a massive grass guy. He loves gardening. He loves the grass and he loves it to look nice so he's really gutted that it started to look horrible because of all these bits down here but that's okay because I think we might just relay this front section of the grass but he's really trying to look after this back section so we don't have to relay it. So this is the block work that Dom has been concentrating on today. It's been really fiddly as you can see they've had to do lots of like little cuts so they are one block high here but then this is kind of like obviously like 30 mil or so all the way just for that section there and then it gets a bit bigger over there so they've just had to work all these levels out along here and then as you can see down there they've started to cut the blocks at an angle for the roof line. Dom has just left and he told us that the roofers have been booked in and they are starting not this Monday Cummings but the Monday after the roofers are going to start and they're going to get all of our roofing and our slate on. He asked me what we want to do on our dormers so obviously there are two dormers one in Rory's room one in our room and he suggested maybe having zinc kind of cladding on the outside of the dormers they're not like the outside of the dormers aren't massive so we're not going to see loads of it so we could either have like our tiles hung or he suggested the zinc cladding and I think it would actually look really really nice um another thing I wanted to say to you guys is here like I showed you before I'm actually going to get Chris to hold the camera as you can see the windows are really really nice and low so what I thought originally we were thinking of having our radiators under the window like you normally would but we thought of having a bench put into each of the windows. So one in Rory's room, one in our room, so that you can like sit down here. And because we have got such a beautiful view, you can like sit here and just admire the view. It's gonna be really, really nice. So I think we're gonna do that in each of the rooms. And then we need to work out now where our radiators are gonna go. And also our electrician is starting this 
Friday, which is very exciting, but it does mean we have to go around the house working out where we want all our down lighters, our wall lights, our sockets, and things like that. So this is getting to the exciting bit now because we get to start really getting involved and start planning everything that we want in our home. So it's the last day of week 12 now and last night as Don was leaving site he just said to me that the electrician is actually going to be coming up today to come and start running wires so we need to rewire our whole house. We're getting a new fuse board as well and then we're going to obviously run all new electrics to every part of the house so I need to decide where we want lights, we want um, switches and we want pockets too so I'm going to go up to the house now and talk to Liam the electrician and then we're going to just go through the house and decide where we want to put things so um, we won't be able to do upstairs just yet because the walls aren't set out so we're going to concentrate on downstairs today but then today Dom is actually going to set out the walls upstairs so that then Liam and I can go upstairs tomorrow and then just work out where we're going to have the sockets and things like that up there as well so yeah I'm very excited about this because this is meant to be happening now next week I feel like suddenly things are really starting to take shape and to like progress and I don't know if I told you before but the roofers are starting in literally a week and a half this is Liam the electrician Hi. <laughs> they've come up today to get started oh look they've already um drilled little holes through the joists Joist, yeah. is that just for all the wires to go yeah, through Cool, we've just been going around marking out where we want all our switches down here. So this is going to be like the main switch for the big room at the back to power everything in here. And we've just been going around downstairs sorting out where we want things because upstairs isn't laid out yet. We don't know what we're going to do up there yet. But it's exciting. Are you excited? Well, I'm yeah, good. I'm so pleased you are. You make my day. You make my day. You make my day. Oh, day. Oh, you make my day. You made my day, you made my day, all day, all day. Princess of mine, what have I done to deserve your royal time? Cause when you chose me, a simple man, you just made my day. As you can see that we have all the rooms laid out. They're still working, there's Dom. So this is gonna be Jamie's room here. So all here, we just haven't laid where their wall is, but basically this is where his wall will come, straight through there. So this is gonna be Jamie's bedroom. And then like I said, the wall is here, so it's gonna go straight through there. And that's gonna be Rory's bedroom. So Rory's actually gonna have a lovely, lovely sized bedroom. Then we have got our ensuite here. I'll take you there in a minute. Um, through here we have got the family bathroom. So this is the bathroom I'm just going to actually ask someone for some help designing because I do really want to get a bath with a shower over the top but it's just a bit awkward like we've got a barn hip coming down there. It's just, just a bit awkward with how we're going to do it so I'm going to contact someone and see if they can help me. But yeah this is going to be our family bathroom. And then in here, this is our doorway here. This will be our bedroom. We'll have um, built-in wardrobes running up to there. And then our bedroom will come all the way here. This bit actually doesn't look as big because it's got all this building material here. But this is, so that's where the family bathroom ends. We'll have wardrobes along there. And then all of this here is our bedroom. And then here is the doorway that's going to go into our ensuite. So we'll have a nice big shower along there. That's 1800 long, 800 wide for the shower. And then we'll have a nice big vanity unit here. And then our toilet will go there, which is under the Velux window. So it's going to be a really, really nice size ensuite. Look what we have here. We have some cables. This is where our fuse board is going to be. So we've decided to put it in the utility room. We're going to like tuck it up there so that it's away. We're going to kind of block it in with in a box or something like that. So it's out the way. So the electrician has been here all day and he's been running loads and loads of cables. This is the storeroom. We've decided on three lights in here and then we've got a light switch that will go 
here. I don't know if you can see that there. Switch, and then we're going to have a double socket down there as well to charge up because we've got um, our electric lawnmower and bits and bobs like that. So we're going to have that. And obviously this is going to be the utility room. So we'll have double sockets down here. And then we will have two down lights in here as well. Our switch will go there. And then in here, he's actually gonna work out for me what he thinks we should do light-wise in here. Like how many down lighters he thinks we should have. I've got three wall lights going on the back of that wall there where it's the kind of low units of the kitchen. So we're then gonna work out how many lights he thinks we should have but he has so far like run all the cables for that and this is where the main switch is going to be so from this switch here you're going to be able to light up every light in this room and then we're also going to have a little wall light over here because my plan is I'm going to have like I want to get an electric fire along there I'll tell you will be up on the wall here a nice plant and then I thought a wall light would be nice there to kind of like light up the plants. And then we're gonna obviously have sockets and bits and bobs all over here as well. And then obviously the doors we're getting, they are electric locking. So we need um, a switch there. We also need to switch that side of the door and we're also gonna have some lights outside um, in the garden and on the walls outside as well. Right, so that is the end of week 12. So much has happened between now and last week. I'm gonna actually overlay a picture of how I ended last week's video and how I'm ending this week's video because so much has happened and I don't know if you guys remember what it was like last week or not. If this is the first time watching my videos, then go and check out my playlist with all of my renovation videos in it because you won't believe what our house used to look like to what it looks like now. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to follow my Instagram for daily build updates. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you next week. Bye.